Hey guys, this is Crystal with Talon's Garage. Today, Sean and I will be showing you how to perform an oil change on the Ford F-150 with a full set of Talon's Garage skid plates in place. Here's a list of items that you'll need to get started. So normally you'd see an oil drain access door where that large cutout is, but it had already been removed prior to this video. Purchasing here. an aftermarket oil drain valve is something we Take recommend to our customers who purchase our F-150 cat shield and transmission skid plate. It makes for an easier and cleaner oil yeah. change. Sean currently has a Ronin Ford Easy oil drain valve installed on his truck. Uh, I'll attach a couple links below for some aftermarket valves for you guys. <laughs> Here you'll see Sean installing the Ronin valve. Uh, he went an extra step and added a half inch hose to the tip for better control. As you can see, there's plenty of room for Sean to access the oil drain plug with both of his hands uh, through that access panel there. Once you feel like you have that valve attached nice and tight, you can go ahead and open it up and let the oil flow out into your oil collection pan. Not all F-150s have the oil drain valve in the center as shown in this video. Some are off to the passenger side and that's perfectly fine. The plug is still accessible without removing the skid plate. You'll simply reach it from the passenger side instead. At this point we're done draining the oil. The Ronin valve has now been removed and the plug is in place. Next, we move on to changing the oil filter. The oil filter is the white cylinder shown here. Here, once again, you can see that Sean has plenty of room to work around the Talon's Garage engine skid plate without having to uninstall any pieces. He's able to reach and remove the oil filter with ease. Now that the oil filter is off, there is some oil dripping onto this skid plate. And there's a couple of points I'd like to make here. One, rags are your friend. And two, if the truck was up on ramps, the oil would fall back farther into that cutout, missing the skid plate because the truck would be leaning back instead of being level. Once you've completely drained any remaining oil, go ahead and grab that new filter and screw that on. Uh, be sure to wipe up any oil residue that might have hit this skid plate. And finally, we're gonna pour in the recommended amount and type of oil for your Ford F-150. Be sure to check the oil level and check for any oil leaks once you're done. Thank you all for watching. We hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please let us know.